Hi, everyone. So I'm almost certain that my entire life, my entire life, from the moment I came out of the womb to today, has been scripted. The whole thing. Everything that's happened was expected. It was part of a plan. And you know what? I'm totally okay with that. Because if it's getting the job done, if whatever mission I might have here that was given to me by uh, beings outside of Earth, I think all that happens with many of us here. As long as that mission is getting complete, I couldn't care less. And make sure you say that right. It's couldn't care less, not you could care less. Because if you could care less, then you, that means you actually care. So it's, I couldn't. I couldn't care less. I don't mind at all. But, you know, maybe part of it is acting like it isn't scripted. Allowing yourself to have certain emotions and reactions, at least on the outward facing side of you, to certain life events that might be expected so that you can fit in, at least in some way, shape, or form. But I will say, if you come to Earth, the world with all the human beings on it, with a mission, then you can pretty much go throughout your life with kind of a euthymic, placid demeanor. As long as you're actually following that path. And for those who are focused, they do that. <laughs> it's everything. The mission is everything. And what is the mission? I think we see it happening on the world or in the world right now. The great reveal. Some people have taken to call it revealing the method. You know, that's actually the meaning of the word apocalypse. The great reveal. The revealing. The band aid, or hmm, more appropriate would be to say, all the dirt that's been swept under the rug, that rug is being pulled up. And we're seeing it all in plain as day right now. Now, if we're going to get up and do anything about it is the question. I do find it very difficult. I can't, I can't fathom how there are people out there, so many in fact, who legitimately can't see some of the egregiously evil things that some of our leaders have done because they listen to the mainstream media and take what they say at face value when, when the mainstream media is poison. It is poison. I have family members who have had their mindsets completely corrupted by it. And once more, they probably don't even realize it. Some of the smartest people I know. I can't, for the life of me, figure out. Aside from that, to that point, you have to understand the suggestible nature of human beings. I have a friend, her name's Janae Nobles. Um... She's kind of a, uh, a nomad. She bounces around from place to place. Uh, she was in Japan for a while, just a few months back. But she told me of this story of when she was in the military for a few weeks. She went through basic training. Um, and when she was in basic training, the, uh, she and the rest of her um, platoon was woken up in the middle of the night to go to um, a psychology office. And they were taken in one at a time to go through a, psycho a psychological procedure. This is what they did. They took a, a, a doll of a baby, 
and put it in a crib and then acted like they were suffocating it with a pillow. And and the person, the the um, the private or airman, I guess it'd be airman basic in the Air Force, uh, that watched it was then asked after this thing happened. So the the person who was acting like they were suffocating the baby would then turn to the um, the military person and say, uh, "The baby's dead. I killed him." Right. And then the psychologist would ask the subject, and the subject was hooked up to a lie detector, did a baby actually get killed there? And even if those people said no, because obviously not, it was a toy, right? Their vital signs showed that they thought it was true, that it was real. The mere suggestibility of it. That's what that study was. And it was a lot bigger and far-reaching than any of us really know. Janae and only one other person in her platoon passed the test. And after she passed it, they booted her out of the military. I'm not kidding. You could even ask her. If she wants to watch this and talk about it, she'll let you know. It's crazy stuff. So don't listen to the mainstream media, especially CNN and MSNBC. They are poison absolute poison it's not a it's not a bad thing or a good thing that we're suggestible it's just an artifact of our social nature but it can be hijacked just like if you draw a straight line in front of a chicken it'll cause them to to be paralyzed i'm not kidding you can look that up it's a paradox of their of their physiology and their and their brains You draw a straight line in front of a chicken, and they get paralyzed. It's the same thing with us and suggestibility. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Keep that in mind, all right? I love y'all. Peace. Break your conditioning.